and welcome to this week's What's Hot. Now, this is being recorded on the morning of Tuesday, the 22nd of September, and later on today, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson will address the nation for the third time during the pandemic about COVID. Will what he say be able to lift the beleaguered tourism, travel, and hospitality-related shares that were battered on Monday the 21st of September. Will he say something that will give the market a balmy Indian summer, metaphorically speaking? Or will he say something that will give a fillip to pharmaceutical shares in their race to create a vaccine for COVID-19. Now, there was a 25% rise in the shares of life sciences company Valorix. Why? Well, we're not entirely sure. But the business is focused on a clinical stage cancer therapeutic development. Perhaps this seemingly innocuous tweet from Chief Executive Susie Dilley was behind the rise in the share price. Now, I'm not sure that any advice from Boris Johnson about staying indoors will help the frazzled nerves of residents of Leighton Buzzard who have experienced a third earthquake in two weeks. And it always seems to be about 8.30 in the morning. Which brings me on to the tectonic shift that may be about to occur in the insurance industry and long overdue in my opinion is the radical reforms that the Financial Conduct Authority is suggesting. It says anyone renewing their home or motor insurance should pay no more than they would as if they were a new customer. Well if adopted the plans would see customers old and new buying on the same channel getting the same price. So what will that mean for comparison websites including moneysupermarket.com which is listed on the stock exchange? It prides itself in finding the best deal for customers. So will its comparison site need to adapt and change? Well shares fell 3% on the same day the potential reform news broke. Which brings me to David Harbidge's expert blog on lsc.co.uk. Look at the blog's title, When Rubber Hits the Road. Now, he's the bearer of bad news. If you didn't know, interest rates on national savings and investment products are going to be dramatically cut with effect from the 24th of November 2020. Well, let's stay with motors and focus on guidance, the old Autonomous vehicle software developer, 100% owned by AIM listed tech capital. Well, earlier, lse.co.uk's very own Donald Leggett spoke to Harold Braun, the chairman and chief executive of Guidant, and they were talking about the laboratory tests with a major automotive OEM for the latest patent electromagnetic regenerative shock absorbers, which are to start. Soon. What kind of market might there be for these shock absorbers? But when I look only to the EV market worldwide, in uh, 2019 it was 160 billion, and it has a cargo of 20, 22, 23 percent from our market research, and it goes up to 800 billion by 2027. So it's a huge market. Now, that interview was very Starship Enterprise. And who knew that in 1966, when William Shatner was flicking his phases, that the Star Trek universe would become the backdrop used on so many virtual interviews some 54 years later. Well, stay well. And who knows what my backdrop will be next week when I see you again. Till then, take care.